Hello. Okay, so this is art history. And I'm Megan, I am your instructor. Uh, so I just like to go through with the online classes and do a little video just introducing you to the class and how it's set up. Um, so hi, I'm Megan. I'll be your instructor this semester. You'll see many videos of me um, lecturing on the topics in this class and you can tell I've recorded them um, over the past several years because my hair changes. So that's fun. Um, okay. So the welcome video you're watching will be posted here under welcome fall 2022. Uh, when you first logged in, it might have said welcome spring 2022 because I copied this from last semester. Um, when I, from, I copied it for myself, uh, teaching it last semester. So I'm going through and updating all the dates and the welcome videos and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, thing one, is when you're navigating my class on Canvas, I want you to navigate via the modules. So I've set the modules page as the home page. So you can be in the home page over here or modules, they look the same. Um, but the reason I want you to do that is because if you navigate via just the assignments, you'll miss all the information and you'll do really poorly on your assignments. So don't do that. Um, so you'll come here to the modules page or the home page. And you'll notice that everything is split up into modules. So first we have our introductions. So we're going to do um, an introduction where you kind of introduce yourself, right? So uh, we'll go to that page. So um, you see this has the date from last semester, so I'll change this. Uh, I want you to have this done by Friday. Uh, Friday is the 26th of August. So basically, you'll come here and you'll just tell us some things about yourself so that, so that um, your classmates and I can get a feel for who you are and kind of get to know you a little bit. So you'll tell us your name. My name is Megan. Um, you'll tell us your pronouns. I use she, her pronouns, but I also do not mind they, them pronouns. I think that's good to default to if you, if you don't know. Um, I, so I want you to know what, I want to know what you're studying. So. For myself, my undergraduate degree is in art history. Um, I have a uh, MA, a Master's of Arts graduate degree in studio art and art theory. And then I have an MFA, which is a Master's of Fine Arts, which is a terminal degree, and it is in painting uh, from California College of the Arts, San Francisco. So that's a little information about me. Um, I also want you to tell me where you're from. I'm from Springfield originally. I lived in California for a while. I lived in London for a while. I lived in Italy for a while, but I am from here and I am back. Um, well, while I was here, I went to Glendale and then I went to Drury. Um, let's see. I also ask uh, if you have a favorite visual arts artist, tell us, share with us who that is. You might not, that's okay. Maybe you'll find them this semester. Um, I have lots of favorite visual artists um, being an art history professor. You can understand that's kind of a hazard of the job. But my favorite, favorite, favorite is probably Helen Frankenthaler. So here's Helen with uh, some of her paintings. Um, and also tell us what kind of music you like. I find that that's like a, a kind of a bonding point for a lot of people. I list to lots of different kinds of music. Um, I've, I, I think I list Fiona Apple on here because this is from last spring. Um, which I, I love Fiona Apple, but um, I listen to all different kinds of music. I've been listening to, I've been kind of revisiting uh, Childish Gambino's collection lately, um, but I listen to all kinds of different music. Uh, so tell us some musician that you like, some band or musician that you like. Um, at OTC, uh, I teach Art History 1, Art History 2, Art and Experience, Drawing 1, Drawing 2, Foundations of Design, uh, and Portfolio Development. Um, this semester, I'm teaching Art History 1 and 2, Drawing 1 and 2, and um, Art and Experience. So generally, uh, I'm the only person who teaches Drawing 2, so if you take that at OTC, you'll definitely have me. But generally, I kind of teach Art History classes and Drawing classes. Um, okay, you can also share a picture of your pets if you like. I find people like to share pictures of their pets. These are my cats. This is Mimosa, Uma, and Mr. Mustachios. I also have a dog named uh, Marcy Moose. Um, that's a headshot from, of me from a couple of years ago. So you can share this kind of information with your peers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of go on the scavenger hunt and find someone that you have something in common with 
and then you're going to comment to that person. So that's how you get your points for this activity, is by making a connection with somebody, um, finding some common ground. Okay, sorry, I have terrible allergies, so I'm very starfly today. Um, then you're gonna do looking at art. So you're gonna watch this little video. This is, uh, I think, the only video this semester that isn't me. So this is some other art historians talking about this painting. And they're gonna kinda go through visual analysis. So after you watch that video, I want you to then give that a try. And you're going to go here and uh, you're going to look at this painting. I don't want you to reverse image search it because the point is not to be right. The point is just to practice um, saying what you see and, and making note of, of your observations, okay? Um, so, so you'll look at this painting and then you'll write a little uh, short piece uh, about what you think is happening in the painting. Okay, then the rest of the semester, everything is broken down by subject matter. Um, so our first module, our first unit is on early, is early, early days. That's Paleolithic and Neolithic cultures. Um, and for each unit, so then you have Walk Like an Egyptian, which is ancient Egypt and the Kingdom of Kush, et cetera, et cetera. For each of these, you'll have pages uh, that have a recorded lecture. I generally break them down into a couple different parts, okay? And sometimes there'll be some written information here as well. So you need to watch those lectures and you can pause them, you can come back to them later. Uh, I do recommend you take notes. So you watch all of those. You'll also see that I always provide the slides that I use in the lectures for you. So if you wanna go back and look at those later, you can. And then in each unit, um, you'll usually have a quiz. It's only worth 10 points. It's only over things covered in the lecture. And you'll have a discussion post. And for the discussion post, you will be assigned uh, something, and I need to update the dates here as well. So you'll be assigned a specific thing, okay? And then what I want you to do is a little bit of research. This is an informal writing, okay? So you're just gonna go and you're gonna read a lot of information about your topic, and then you're gonna come back to the discussion and teach us, teach me and your classmates about your topic. So you'll share a picture of it, and then you'll tell us some information. And I, I give you some hints here about the kind of information that is that we wanna see, okay? So you'll have one of these for every unit in this class. And it's not scary, you don't have to cite anything. Um, I do recommend you use the library. The librarians are fabulous here. They will help you research your, your topic. But basically, you're just gonna read some things. I don't want you to copy and paste stuff. You're gonna read some information about your, your topic, and then you're gonna come back and make a little written post telling us about your topic. So that's one part of the discussion. The next part is you will make two reply posts to your peers about their topics. And I want you to have substantive replies. What does that mean? I don't want you to say, good point, or I like that, or rad as hell, my dude. I want you to say something that has some meaning. If you like it, why do you like it? What do you like about it? Or do you have a question? Did you read their blurb and look at the picture and you still don't quite get what this thing is? Ask them, okay? And then if someone asks you a question, you come back and answer them, okay? And that's how you get all the points for these. So you'll do several of these throughout the semester. And then you have quizzes, which are pretty straightforward. Um, and then you have uh, reflection writing. You don't have these in every unit, but basically one of the research-based um, tools uh, in education that, that proves to be really effective in helping students remember and retain information is if you do informal writing about it. So this is again informal where you're just going to reflect and write about what you learned in this unit, what you liked about it, what you didn't like, what you'd like more information about, that kind of thing. And it's you kind of writing and reflecting on the what you've learned so far and it helps your brain retain that information. Okay, so you get points for those as well. Okay, so we have all of our modules here and let's go over the syllabus really quick. So your syllabus is right here, under course syllabus. Oh, sorry, I am so snorfly. I'm very allergic to the air in the Ozarks, which is crazy because I'm from here, so it seems unfair. Okay, so uh, this is an online class. We do not meet in person. We also do not meet uh, virtually in a synchronized manner, so we don't do Zoom or things like this. Everything is asynchronous. 
Um, I do add things to your student to-do list, so you should be able to follow along with not just when your assignments are due, but when you should be watching what lecture and things like that. Uh, contact information, please contact me via my OTC email, and please use your OTC email to contact me. So my email is rosenm at otc.edu. Um, the reason I want you to use your official college email to contact me at my official college email is because of things called FERPA regulations. These are privacy laws that protect you, okay? So I am not supposed to discuss your grade or anything about your, um, your, your academic performance or anything like that with you uh, other than via your official email associated with the college or you in person, okay? So, so just uh, communicate with me if you need to ask about your grade or ask for an extension or something. Just email me um, with your OTC email. Also, please don't spell my name incorrectly. I know it's spelled weirdly. That's my parents' fault. It's not my fault. Um, but it's M-E-G-A-N-N-E, -E, okay? So I don't, I don't love it when you misspell my name. So just a fair warning. I do have regular office hours. I'm located at the Springfield campus. And I'm in uh, NKM in the Norman K. Myers building on the first floor. My office is 130B. And my regular office hours are Tuesday and Thursday from 12.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, in my office. Um, I also am happy to meet with you outside of office hours. If, if you have class on Tuesday, Thursdays, and that doesn't work, just email me and we can set up a time. And I will be happy to meet you at my office if you need to talk to me about something. Um, you need a reliable computer for this class because it's an online class. That makes sense, right? So that's really the only material. We don't use a book. Everything is just through the lectures. I'm not going to read all of this to you. You can read. I do want to just hit some of the highlights. So in terms of grading, this is what your grade is based on. So your re reflective writings, you have three of those throughout the semester. They're worth 10 points each. Your discussion board posts you have, uh, are worth 15 points each. It's a total of 135 points for the semester. Your quizzes are worth 10 points each, and there are nine of them, so that's 90 points. And your final exam is worth 75 points. Um, I also have 55 participation points, and those you get just for like logging in regularly and keeping on time with your assignments and giving people uh, replies to their discussion posts in a timely manner. Okay, everything must be turned in via Canvas to um, be part of your grade. That makes, this is an online class, so that makes sense, right? Um, academic grievance, I do like to hit on this. So if you think that I've messed up your grade or you have some kind of question or concern about this class, please come to me first. I try to be really approachable um, and, and available, so please email me or come during office hours or set up an appointment with me and I'm happy to talk to you about it. If that doesn't satisfy you, if you still think something is wrong, um, I have my department chair and my dean right here. So you can contact Kat Alley. She is the chair of Fine Arts and Humanities. And then uh, we're part of the general education division. So this is our dean, Dr. Aberly. So their information is right there. Um, proctored event, I have not set the proctored event yet. Um, I will do an announcement and let you know when that is set. Um, attendance, even though this is an online class, you do have to come to class. You have to turn things in online. Um, you have to respond to email and check your email. And also, I can see how often you log into the Canvas page. And not only can I see it, but our lovely Dr. O'Connor, who's kind of the guru of all things attendance, can see it as well. So if you, um, you probably are familiar with this uh, thing OTC has called administrative withdrawal. So that's not just for seated classes. If you miss 14 consecutive days, um, you can be withdrawn from the class. So make sure that you're regularly logging in, make sure that you're submitting your th all your assignments and quizzes and things in a timely manner. Um, if you are approaching administrative withdrawal, uh, I will get an email from Dr. O'Connor saying so-and-so is about to meet the conditions for academic withdrawal. I generally will email you and check in and make sure everything's okay. Um, if you are withdrawn from the class and it was because you were sick or something and you just lost track of time and you want to be re-enrolled, email me and we can figure it out and I can re-enroll you. Okay. Disability support services. Um, OTC has really fantastic disability support services. So if you um, need any help with anything, uh, 
check in with DSS, they're really great. We also have all these other fabulous resources for students. Um, I've taught several places. I think OTC has the best student resources and student support of anywhere I've ever taught. So definitely kind of peruse these and, and check out if there's anything that might be helpful to you. Um, also, if something's going on with you and you need a referral somewhere, we have online counsel, we have uh, on-site counseling for students, all kinds of things like that, feel free to drop me uh, or your navigator an email and I'm happy to connect you with resources. Um, I haven't put the schedule here. I usually have a schedule for every day of the semester, but it, everything's so integrated into Canvas now that I am going to try the semester with, with just having um, Canvas do that. So I need to go through and update dates on some of these things. But basically, you'll have a to-do list here that shows everything that I've marked for you to do on your to-do list and also due dates for assignments. And you can also click the calendar and you can see all of, all of the things uh, for the class in the calendar view. Um, and then also, you know, underneath things uh, in Canvas, it always has the date there. So see, there's the due date, for example, right there. Uh, okay, I think that's about it for me. I look forward to getting to know you this semester. Welcome to art history class. I love teaching art history. It's super fun. If you have any questions about anything, please reach out to me, uh, rosenm at otc.edu. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.